In this video, I want to talk about the secondary navigation that we're using starting with FM Starting Point 4.6. Now this is the version of FM Starting Point that has the new Apple-inspired user interface. And what we see is if we go to Accounts or we go to Contacts, we have this area down here where we have like the related data. And we call this secondary navigation. And so how is this set up? And of course we're making a video about it, so that means there's something to learn. And what we ended up doing with this new release of Starting Point is making a calculation that renders this. Now, the first thing I want to show is that it says calculation and it says notes here, so you can tell you're on the notes tab right here, the secondary navigation right here. And what you can do is say view, show, sample data. Now I'm never a big one on showing sample data because it obscures the name of the fields. But right here, it's one of those rare moments where showing the sample data is actually pretty helpful because it actually shows us what will come out of these calculations. So once again, I click on the tab control here, and these are right here the various tabs that we have set up. I'm going to double click this, or actually hit specify, I guess, and you're going to see uh, the calculation now in your version of FM Starting Point. There's probably some comments up here at the top. So I'm talking about all the code that's at the from the let on down. Now normally I try not to put let statements and things like this in FM starting point because FM starting point is really for intermediate users, beginner users, advanced users can use it all they want, but I try to keep the concepts simple. So let me say that you really have two choices as a user for customizing this. So if we want to change the tab over here from notes to uh, let's just call it history. Say we don't like notes, we want to change it to history. We come up here to this first tab because it's the first one. We say specify. And if we want to change uh, the wording, we have to go into this location here, this location here, and this location here, and change the name. And so we would just type history in here. And then I could copy that and paste it right there, although it'd be a uh, the idea is that this is a plural calculation right here, so if there's only one related record, it says it's a note, for example, or a contact, and if there's more than one, then it's notes. Uh, for history, it's kind of weird. I don't know, the histories, multiple histories? I don't know, that's kind of weird. But you get the idea. That's what this is for right here. And this is what it displays when you're in find mode. Now this area down here has to do with how it's actually displayed. This has to do with the size of the font, and then this is the color, right? And so these items are all here are, we're basically setting the values here, and we just display it right here. And so you can dig through here and change the numbers and play with this if you'd like. Um, it works great. That being said, the other thing that you're going to want to consider is that right here is where we calculate the actual number of related records. So we have 19, 24, 23, 2, 1, whatever. And so this calculation right here does that. It's running a count function of the related records. So you'll have to go into a relationship and find the related records. If what I'm saying to you is too complicated and too painful, what I recommend you do is just do it the way we did it in previous versions of Starting Point, is delete everything and just put the name in right here. That'll keep it really simple and you'll be set. I'm going to say OK. And then we say, after we do this, we have to, have to, have to say rename because the name has changed, right? Now it, it reflects that. This interface right here is a little goofy and it's different than other things in FileMaker. So it's just a function of different engineers at FileMaker building different parts of the product. Sometimes different areas of the product work differently. And that's one of those areas here where you have to make it edit, then you have to tell it to rename it. Almost like a field definition. So we say OK, and that's it. So now we have our customized tab. Now, once again, if you like the idea of the uh, records being in here, and if, of course, we select it to change the color there, etc., then you can change and edit that calculation. If it's too complex, just delete everything and put the name in that you want in quotes.